Uh, the fellowship is something that I have known about sort of since I started being really serious about um, being in classical music. This was actually my third or fourth audition uh, this year, so it took me a few tries. Um, but it was always just something that stood out as a pinnacle of um, pre-professional sort of opportunities in Australia, um, especially for flute and getting the opportunity to play with the Sydney Symphony is um, not something that comes around very often. So that was what it was for me. It was a program which I was always aware of. And growing up in Sydney uh, and having some attachment to the Sydney Symphony beforehand, um, I was always aware of the fellows on my particular instrument and I would always look up to them and think, oh my goodness, how they're so good and competent and professional. So I always knew it was a really wonderful thing which people did at a pre-professional stage in their careers. You know, being able to play with the orchestra quite regularly and with amazing conductors and soloists is something that when you're studying you get to play in orchestras a lot but it's not the same as working in a professional environment and being able to learn while on the job is just the best way to get that experience and it's been such a valuable opportunity. What really exceeded my expectations was how um, welcomed I, I felt as a fellow and I hope the other fellows felt as well into the organisation um, because obviously we're coming in as people with a bit less experience and people who are a bit younger and people who um, were right at the beginning of all this type of stuff um, but I've always felt really really welcomed and really supported by all the musicians uh, and all the staff and like everyone's glad to have us there which is a really nice feeling. I was not expecting to have as much chance to play in the orchestra as I actually did. Um, that by far exceeded um, what I'd anticipated but it was really wonderful. The amount of different programs and conductors that I got to play under and the people who I got to sit next to, they all had so much to share with me and I, I had even more of that than I had hoped. The only way to really learn that I think is playing in the orchestra and learning not just how to be a good musician but also a good colleague and I think that's critically important. And Jamie and I have been lucky enough to play uh, in different seats in the section as well and playing in somewhere within the flute section is very different to playing principal flute or principal piccolo um, and so getting to have all those different experiences and perspectives there's not a lot of places where you can get to do all that with so much support from the your colleagues around you in, in the space of one year. I feel that the way in which I've grown as a professional musician this year has involved many different ways. The way I play in a section is, I think, much more refined. And it's also been really great to get that sort of insight into what goes on behind the orchestra. Like, you don't really get that at university or um, similar. Like, you don't, you know, you'll learn how to play instrument and you'll have lessons and you'll have orchestra, but there is a whole other world that makes this happen and you don't really get taught that but it's been great this year to actually get some more of that understanding. You should apply to the Sydney Symphony Fellowship Program because you want to learn more about orchestral music making, because you want to play wonderful and diverse chamber music, because you want to expand your network of uh, musical colleagues and because you want to have fun. Um, we've had some terrific adventures. You should apply for the Sydney Symphony Fellowship Program because it is an incredibly unique experience. It's so valuable, especially for people like me who just finished studying. Um, but for anybody, if you want orchestral experience and you want to grow and develop as a musician, then it's a no-brainer.